uh, nasal injector sprays. <laughs> and they, they started treating it as like an additive product mm -hmm. to like make everything else just slightly that much better and also adding it to their coffees and their tea lines that already exist. Like CBD? There's a lot of money coming into the research for all sorts mm -hmm. of different things. Are there any companies that you know of, pharmaceutical companies, that uh, they are uh, uh, looking into mushrooms? Absolutely. Um, there are companies that have already begun releasing uh, nasal injector sprays. So oh. they are able to like get like a perfect dose for that. Mm. Uh, there are companies in Colorado that are actually talking about adding it to their coffees and their tea lines that already exist. Like CBD? But yeah, uh, it's, it's the exact same thing. Coffee. It's just and they, they started treating it as like an additive product mm -hmm. to like make everything else just slightly that much better. And also uh, it's to increase the upsell value of what it is if they're going to go mm -hmm. the commercial route for that. Uh, there are all sorts of capsule companies that are starting to show up. There are all sorts of grow kit companies because people are trying to get on that to show people how to do it. Uh, there, there's a lot of money coming into the research for all sorts mm -hmm. of different things. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. I mean, they're trying to use it as a, they're just trying to see what they can do with it as far as curing it. And then there are some companies that are doing the genetic uh, engineering of it. Mm -hmm. So they use a system either called a phage or a CRISPR-Cas9, mm -hmm. because you can either add or remove a piece of genetic material, a gene in essence, or it can turn off or turn on one, or it can also, they you can even make these little uh, barcodes genetically if they're mm -hmm. actually gonna try to patent an organism. Oh. Like it's, it's the weirdest thing in the world. Um, at that point, uh, someday and pretty much soon, there'll be large scale production of single cell eukaryotic organisms like yeast that will either have it contained internally or will actually ex excrete it and then they'll process it off. And that's a concept that scares a lot of um, people that just want to keep it just a mushroom that grows mm. naturally. Uh, they they find that uh, abhorrent because, you know, it's genetic engineering, mm. so they're freaking out about it. And it's understandable because we don't exactly well, know what all this is going to turn into. You never know what the... You ever see the movie Island of Dr. Moreau? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows? <laughs> If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.